Custom water cooling is one of the most discussed topics sa mga PC groups. And yes, if uh, nauna ka pong uh, subscriber ng ating uh, channel, maybe you are also aware na yung mga una nating in-upload dito, random videos back then, hindi pa ako talagang tutok sa YouTube, is mga soft tubes water cooling. And uh, ayun, na-meet natin si Sir Mike Laserna, tinulungan niya ako sa mga uh, hard tubes uh, water cooling projects until nagtuloy-tuloy. And uh, I think the last video na in-upload ko about the uh, custom water cooling was 2 years ago pa. So, ayun. Uh, we are back on this channel and show you uh, some uh, components that you need to know if you want to have a custom water cooling setup. At the same time, uh, random pointers. Nagpatulong na rin tayo kay Sir Mike Samsin ng Tantric PC Mods kasi medyo hindi na tayo updated eh. 2 years na rin ang uh, tinagal before ulit tayo humawak ng mga ganito. And yes, hindi na tayo magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Let's talk about this. Feel free to subscribe for more videos. This video is brought to you by SCDK, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Before natin pag-usapan yung mga pointers kung gusto nyo magpa-water cooling setup and of course, yung pinaka-latest project bago namin ipakita dito sa ating video is syempre pag-uusapan na muna natin ng mabilisan itong mga major components ng isang custom water cooling system. And uunahin natin ngayon ang radiator. Ito po yung pinaka-importanteng pyesa. And typically, makikita rin natin ito sa mga AIO and even sa mga iba't ibang kind of cooling systems, meron laging radiator. Lalo na, lalo na kung involve ang uh, tubig pagdating sa cooling system. So, ito yung pinaka-major part that will dissipate yung heat ng ating mga components. And then next is the pump. So, ito yung pinaka uh, major part that is responsible sa pag-ikot ng tubig sa buong loop. And then next is the CPU block. Ito yung nakakonek sa ating processor with a copper uh, heat sink, then reservoir. So, before, kadaadasan ng mga reservoir is cylinder type. So, merong mas malaki, merong mas maliit. Depende kung ano yung uh, loop mo, kung kasama yung GPU, then of course you will go for the bigger one. Pero typically kung CPU lang naman, then you may settle down with the smaller one. Nowadays, medyo hindi na uso yung mga ganito, lalong-lalo na yung mga chassis ngayon meron ng uh, nade-designed na water channel. So it's just like a block na it serves as a reservoir at the same time centralized uh, part kung saan mag interconnect lahat ng tubo. Before kasi when you do the loop, May ko-connect ka dito sa reservoir, then may pupunta dito sa mismong pump, and then pupunta sa mga radiator or sa mga CPU block. Pero nowadays, you can just connect here. Papunta man siya sa pump or papunta sa mismong reservoir. Dito na lang siya. So, mas organized na siya tingnan. Dahil yung pump na ito is nakakonek na rin mismo dito sa mismong Reserva. So, yun yung maganda dito sa mga ganitong klase ng uh, setup ngayon. Mas magilinis sa tingnan at the same time, medyo mas madali na rin gumawa ng loop dahil andito na lahat din yung mga butas. And then, of course, the tubes. Back then, nagsimula muna sa mga soft tubes. Pero nowadays, hard tubes na po yung pinakausong ginagamit natin to connect all of these uh, parts or components. And para mag-connect yung mga tubo dito sa mga uh, butas ng mga radiator, uh, CPU block, or GPU block, reservoir, we need to have fittings. Ito yung responsible kung bakit hindi nagkakaroon ng leak. And meron din siyang rubber rings para walang chance na magkaroon ng leak. So may mga iba't ibang fittings din. Merong iba't ibang kulay at the same time, uh, angular, compression fittings, uh, dual compression, then, if you want to go for a full custom water cooling na kasama yung GPU, we also have the GPU block. So, it's just like the CPU block, it will also serve yung ating video card chipset. 
And then lastly is of course the coolant. So syempre hindi makokompleto ang isang water cooling system kung walang coolant. So eh, hindi po ibig sabihin na ganito lang siya kaliit is ito na lang po yung gagamitin natin. Of course we will mix that with the distilled water para mas dumami. Dahil kung wala pong coolant, there is a chance na of course magkaroon ng corrosion or uh, ayun, mga lawang. Okay, so ayan lang po mga kaibigan ang ating mabisang showcase sa mga major components or parts ng isang typical na custom motor cooling setup. Now, let's move on sa mga pointers. Ang pinakaunang bagay na dapat natin gawin kung gusto natin magpa-set up ng custom motor cooling is of course, do some research. Of course, typical research like you will just check the page ng isang uh, mother or a uh, guy who have been doing this or serving clients na nagpapaset up ng custom model cooling. And uh, para mas mapadali, I will give you or I will do some name drop. Hindi ko mention lahat dahil sobrang dami po nila. You may check the video description below dahil dyan ko po ilalagay lahat ng links ng kanilang mga pages. So first, of course, Mike Samsin. Okay, napakatagal na po niyang mother uh, since Rigno Obis days. Since uh, nandyan si na Sir Paul Tan, uh, Cam Show, uh, hindi ko na maalala yung iba. Yung iba kasi medyo hindi na sila active. Uh, Sir Mike Samson na lang yung parang pinaka-active out of uh, the group na mga natatandaan ko sa mga tipid PC days. And then of course, nandyan si Sir Mikey Laserna. Siya yung nagturo sa atin ng mga basic or things to consider. I also did some research. I also did some projects before kami nag-meet ni Sir Mikey. Pero, uh, mas na-improve pa. Kasi, hindi po porket alam mo na kung paano yung process. Kaya nga, hindi po ako gumagawa ng guide ng custom water cooling. Kasi, napaka-delikado po niya. Kailangan mo rin malaman yung mga factors to consider. And then, of course, both Sir Mikey Laserna and Mike Samson are uh, seasoned models and uh, winners sa mga international uh, PC modding competitions. And of course, judge sa mga local naman na modding competition across the Philippines. Then, going up north, nandyan din si Sir John Patrick Siwong. Siya yung uh, pinaka-latest uh, champion ng ESGS 2020 uh, PC modding competition. And then, uh, mga local uh, modding competition ng Cooler Master. Ayan, si Sir John Patrick Siwong from Baguio City. Nandyan din si Sir Michael Dulay. Siya yung pinaka-last na champion naman ng uh, uh, Ilocos Cyber Expo modding competition. Then, uh, going down south, nandyan si Sir Edmund Craft. All the way from Mindanao, pumunta siya up north para Somali. Mindanao represent. And uh, Modjap. Ayan, Sir Modjap. Uh, JP Modified, of course. Phenomenal modder na nag-champion sa Thermal Take PC modding competition. And uh, siya rin yung uh, modder na gumawa ng uh, build ni Sir Ayan, Fajardo ng uh, San Miguel uh, Beer. Yung center ng San Miguel Beer. And then, Sir Paul Perez. Siya yung uh, gumawa ng uh, build ni Sir Eman Nemedes. Dating vlogger na namaya pa na. Uh, one of the most respected uh, OG vloggers in the Philippines. And uh, the rest will just be linked sa ating video description below. Of course, check those pages. Diyan kayo magkakaroon ng idea. Mas mafi-figure out nyo kasi yung gusto nyo. Pag meron kayong mga na-visualize na mga previous builds nila, then after that, we will jump now sa ating mga factors na you need to consider. Of course, number one is cost. Ang cost of motor cooling is really a bit more expensive compared sa typical na AIO cooling system, yung closed loop. Dahil, uh, syempre, maraming components na involved. Nandyan yung mga pump, separate yung radiator, then yung uh, services. It takes some kind of experience pagdating sa pagre-render ng ganitong klase ng services and of course equipments. Hindi naman po porket ito na yung mga kailangan, is ito na lang din yung gagamitin. Mayroon din silang mga equipment na ginagamit. And then, uh, to have a more sophisticated uh, output or work, nag i din sila sa mga uh, high-powered uh, tools and um, heavy equipments like uh, 3D printer, Uh, laser cutting machine, iba't ibang klase ng mga uh, machines like they even do a CNC para lang i-render ang ganitong klase ng service. So medyo may kamahalan po siya. Like a CPU custom motor cooling, siguro ang pinakamura nasa around 15K to 20K more or less. Pero kung kasama na po yung GPU, that is around 50K 
to 100k more or less. And then of course, same with the CPU din, pwede rin siyang umabot ng around 50k, depende rin sa gagawin. Pero yung pinakamura nasa around 15k to 20k. And uh, then next is parts compatibility. Yes, almost all of the parts are pwede namang i-custom water cooling system. Pero hindi naman po lahat is applicable or hindi rin lahat is compatible. Like for example, the last time I did was uh, yung custom water cooling na sana kasama yung GPU. Pero it happens na yung GPU na binili ng customer is uh, rare or Hall of Fame GPU. And back then, wala pang uh, custom uh, CPU or GPU block. Kaya medyo nahirapan akong maghanap And that is the reason why we consider parts compatibility We need to know or we need to uh, ask the mother If this specific item that we will avail Is meron ng GPU block Para at least malesen yung chance na pwedeng madali yung project Or magkaroon ng hassle na uh, we will cancel yung project Dahil nga hindi rin pala compatible yung nabili natin And then third is chassis Case or case size will bring major impact in terms of overall aesthetics kung anong magiging layout or design ng ating custom water cooling setup. Like for example, if that case na napili mo is wala pang after a market na water channel, then of course you will be forced to settle down sa mga typical cylinder type reservoir. And uh, yun yung magiging problema mo along the way, lalong lalong na kung hindi mo trip yung ganitong design or you are expecting that your build will come with this kind of water channel para sa isang mas minimalist or mas malinis tingnan na custom water cooling setup. But of course, a modder will uh, find ways to make this look uh, good. Pero yun nga, depende kasi yun sa trip mo. And that will start kung anong napili mong chassis or anong napili mong size. Dahil size matters din. Kung you are expecting that there will be a lot of uh, loops and tubes, then of course, you need to settle down with a bigger chassis. Pero kung gusto mo naman ng mas siksik or mas tight tingnan, then you will settle down with a mini ITX chassis. Then, fourth is future upgrades. Yung ilan sa atin, nababahala sila na baka mamaya in the future, hindi ko na rin magamit. E ang laki pa naman ng investment. Sa totoo lang, hindi po ganun yon. Ang maganda sa custom motor cooling is you can reconfigure or reuse these components if nag-upgrade ka in the future. Like for example, from uh, 3600, then nagpalit ka ng Threadripper. Then, you may just replace the CPU block. And there you go. At least, nasalba mo pa rin yung ibang component. Unlike with an AIO, na once na nag-iba na yung socket, papalitan mo na ulit ng panibagong AIO. Fifth is maintenance. Isa ito sa mga pinakamadalas na misconception na, naku, napakatas ng maintenance niyan. Yes, sa totoo lang naman talaga, merong maintenance ang isang cooling system, especially sa mga ganitong klase ng uh, setup. Pero, it is because serviceable po siya. Unlike with an AIO, na once na nasira yung AIO mo, automatically magpapalit ka na. With this, like for example, nasira yung pump, you can just replace the pump. Ito na lang naman yung kadalasang nasisira eh. Kasi nga ito lang yung may moving parts. The rest is passive naman. Like for the radiator. So, sakaling masisira man ang radiator dahil nagkaroon ng corrosion. And most likely, may pagkakamali yung nag-setup. Or, of course, it's already a... Uh, almost a decade or more than five years na rin na radiator. Or yung mga fittings or, or the most frequent is of course mag-add ng coolant or mag-replace ng coolant. Yan lang naman yung pinaka-maintenance ng isang custom motor cooling. Marami kasi nag-iisip na high maintenance ang custom motor cooling. Pero hindi nila nare-realize na kahit yung AIO din naman sana is high maintenance din siya kung possible lang napalitan mo yung coolant. Which is on random brands, meron din naman. Pero not all. And at the same time, pagdating sa maintenance ng isang AIO, it's just limited pagdating sa pagpapalit or pagdadagdag ng coolant. Pero for the estimates, most likely after uh, one year or two years, doon ka magpapalit or magdadagdag ng coolant. Uh, previous clients that I have, uh, meron pa nga iba, more than two years bago sila uh, nag uh, uh, pag-guide kung paano magpalit ng kulan or magdagdag ng kulan or bago nila ibinalik sa akin yung uh, build. Dahil hindi naman basta-basta na bigla na lang after 6 months wala ng kulan yung uh, setup mo. Hindi naman po ganun uh, kagrabe. It's just like a typical AIO na most likely after 3 years or 5 years ayun, bumibigay na yung AIO natin dahil wala na rin kulan or bumigay na yung pump. So ganun lang din dito. 
kaya yun yung naging dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon ng mga misconception, especially sa mga comments sa mga groups na they are uh, speculating na high maintenance, mahirap gawin yan, uh, delikado yan. Basta nagpagawa ka sa talagang eksperto o talagang gumagawa ng custom motor cooling experience, safe na safe yung uh, build mo. Kung meron man tayo siguro mga nakikitang issues, those are very isolated and kadalasan yung gumawa siguro nun is hindi pa siya ganun ka-eksperto or uh, tinipid yung parts or I may say it very seldom. And then lastly is warranty. I think this is another thing na medyo maraming myths tayo naririnig na pag nag-custom water cooling ka na, void na yung warranty mo. Yes, I admit that if ang pinag-uusapan natin is siguro about the GPU block. Pero kung ang pinag-uusapan naman natin is all about the CPU, it's all about the, the other components ng ating uh, water cooling system, hindi naman po mavo-void yung mga warranty. It's just that pagdating sa GPU block, there is this kind of uh, terms na once na ginalaw mo na yung uh, cooler, automatically mavo-void na yung warranty mo. So that is just kind of added risk bilang isang... Uh, Uh, motor or bilang isang gumagawa ng custom motor cooling na malaki yung responsibilidad nila pagdating sa warranty dahil sila yung gumagawa ng uh, unit mo. Kaya nga dahil dito I always advise na if gusto nyong magkaroon uh, ng custom motor cooling setup especially kung uh, do it yourself yung gagawin ninyo, settle down muna sa CPU or the best is of course ask a motor to do it for you, an expert to do it for you. Well, still, like sa usapang maintenance, that is also a very isolated thing that will most likely to happen. Pero uh, at some point din naman, meron din naman mga contacts ang iba nating mga kasamahang modders that if that will happen, um, still they can ask some kind of uh, special guarantee or special warranty request kung nagkaroon man ng problema dun sa kanilang ginagawang GPU. And uh, ayun, yung dahilan din siguro kung bakit I always recommend you guys that uh, sa mga initial, especially sa mga first na custom water cooling setup nyo, before you will do it uh, yourself, is magpagawa muna kayo sa mga expert or sa mga professional na or experience uh, in doing this uh, custom water cooling setup. Alright, so that's it muna. Ang ating mga random factors or major uh, things to consider. Of course, very uh, thankful tayo kay Sir Mike Samsin. Kung may mga things naman na gusto kayong idagdag, you may just comment down below. Kaya, disclaimer lang mga kaibigan, this is not a guide, but just a kind of a random facts to know about water cooling setup. And yes, for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.